As America continues to propose, discuss, test, and install more and more renewable energy projects, the NECA IBEW Powering America team has not only the resume, but the training programs and infrastructure to ensure a prosperous future where green energy is concerned. Ever wondered how turbine blades design and engineering is tested for maximum efficiency, durability, and energy generation? Well, one such place where they do it is located outside of Boston, Massachusetts in Charlestown. At the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center, these turbine blades are put through 20 years of stress testing in a matter of a couple of months. Not only are the NECA IBEW craftsmen and women up on turbines all across the country installing and maintaining the structures themselves, they're also responsible for the construction and maintenance of this facility as well. From the machines, to the testing equipment, to the lighting, all of it has the NECA IBEW stamp of approval. For offshore wind farms and the power they generate, it's a bit more complicated. The Block Island Wind Farm, which is off the coast of Providence, was the first major offshore wind project in the history of the United States. You see, coastal winds blow stronger and more consistently than they do on land. And offshore wind is strongest off the coast of New England. With the potential for 7,200 terawatt hours of electricity per year, which is double the total power consumption in America, offshore wind has huge potential. But before electricity can be used from offshore wind, it must first run along a subsurface cable, which is terminated at an onshore substation. This is the Vineyard Wind Project's onshore substation, which is a different project, less far along and yet to be completed than Block Island. And it's also a little further north off the coast of Cape Cod. NECA IBEW contractors and electricians are putting the finishing touches on the substation work here, where sophisticated transformers will soon hum with purpose. It's an intricate symphony of pipe and wire, unrivaled by any other contractor or craftsman or woman. A few thousand miles to the west in St. Louis is Barnes Jewish College, one time a pioneer in green energy installation seen through this massive solar power array on top of one of their parking garages. It's a partnership between the college, Ameren, Missouri, the utility, and NECA and the IBEW, which incorporates 4,500 individual panels and averages 200,000 megawatts a month of electricity generation. Outside of Las Vegas, in the vast expanse of the desert, are today dozens of solar projects. One of the biggest and most impressive is Copper Mountain Solar 3, 250 megawatts, 1.2 million individual panels, powering up to 80,000 homes and offsetting 460,000 tons of CO2 from the atmosphere. On a much smaller scale, outside of San Francisco is Devil's Canyon Brewery and their new solar array. It helps to power the malted hops and water fermentation to the enjoyment of its customers in its newly expanded beer garden. From coast to coast, if renewable energy is your power preference, the NECA IBEW team wants you to know, we've got this.